Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another review. So today we are looking at a O-Gage wagon by Halgen. And as you guys could probably see from the screen, we have a dogfish to review. So let's get straight into it. So this is the first uh, O-Gage wagon we're looking at uh, from Halgen. So it'd be nice to see what details we've got here. So, so far in the O-Gage reviews, we've done Dapol and um, Lionheart on the wagons. Um, so it'd be nice to see what Halgen are producing wagon wise. So let's have a look at the box. So there's not really much on the box. You got some legal stuff and just their logo. On the side here, we have the Halgen logo, the Halgen website, and then we've got the information sticker. So the product code for this is 4379. It is the BR Black Dogfish Ballast Hopper db nine nine three nine five two and according to this this is era five slash six and it has sprung buffers apparently so we'll uh see see if that's true in a minute so let's get into the box here so the box is slightly different to what we've had so far um we have this sort of sleeve that just pulls straight off. And then we got the kind of ice cube packaging uh, that we're used to from like Hornby and Backman, that sort of thing. So let's get it out of the box here. So there's no like detail packs or um, information sheets. So let's get straight into it so we'll take the plastic sleeve off here and we'll get her out get my uh my little track piece here to put it on there we go okay so in the packaging it does have a nice big polystyrene block to protect the uh the detail of it as from already, I can see a lot of very finely detailed parts. So, let's get it on the board a bit more and uh, zoom in. Okay, so here we have the dogfish. And I am very impressed, like first impressions, I am very impressed with the look of this model. It is absolutely astonishing. And um, a little story for you guys, I've actually worked on these dogfish wagons. I've um, painted, uh, I think it was good four or five of them at the Dean Forest Railway. Um, that's part of their coal tra uh, their freight train they do for the uh, brake van rides and stuff. Um, I was one of the guys out of the two guys that painted them. So, well, three guys, um, as we did have a sign writer come and do the sign writing for us. But two of us did most of the bulk. And this was the liveries we did them in. So it's nice to have a, um, a handful um, for my model railway so i've currently got three i have another two on order and i'm possibly looking at some catfish but let's get back to the model itself so this thing is absolutely astonishing the paintwork is impeccable the sign writing on the side is crisp and readable I, I can't fault I, I I just can't fault it. There's no paint spills for what I can see. It's this thing is incredible. So I pick it up here. As you guys can see, there are plenty of details to go around. 
and this wagon is rather heavy as well that is the first thing you do notice when you pick this up is the sheer weight of this so starting at the bottom then we do have this gigantic weight in the middle and we have separately fitted brake rigging on the bottom of the model here coming to the wheel sets the axle boxes are painted yellow and, and i believe the axle boxes actually move yep axle boxes do move they're on a small little i'm guessing spring piston type of thing so the uh, axle boxes do move what is a very nice touch as they do move in real life off the leaf springs there that are very nicely molded with some rivet work there you've got the chutes for where the ballast would fall through on the sides of there what is very nice you do have some uh some more transfers on the sole bar and its builder's plate we do have what we call the hand so some wagons have handbrakes uh this has got a wheel for its handbrake picked out in white here oh that does in fact move okay that is a very nice little touch from Halgen there so we do have a spinning um handbrake there i wonder if it's ah so it's on a separate it's on like a little wire a bit of uh, metal wire there so that's pretty cool so we also have the footsteps picked out in a white color like we did at the dean of forest railway we picked out the steps in white Coming around to the end here, we do have a screw link coupling that does unscrew. So if you've got tight curves, you can adjust it a little bit. Um, so that is a very nice touch. The buffers are sprung, so they weren't lying on the box. You've got a lovely little uh, separately fit lamp bracket there. And this is the vac cylinder for the brakes so they've modeled modeled that very very nicely if you have a look inside you can see all of the uh the piping that's all separately fitted and that is incredible you've got all these separately fit support beams and the running plate for the uh for the dogfish is molded in the corrugated metal for the non-slip so that is very nice indeed so coming around to the other side then we do have the same features this side so we do have i believe the uh the wheel moves the brake wheel you got the lovely underframe detail there with the axle boxes picked out in yellow and the molded leaf springs and it, as the other side, the transfers are all very crisp. But there's no kind of scratches or flaky, like, mess that you do get with some transfers. So that's nice to see. And does look very nice indeed. There is quite a bit of riveting along the bottom there. And then if we come to this side this is where all the very very fine detail is so i forgot to mention on the other side we do have the vac pipes as well and we've got sprung buffers then we've got separately fitted support beams for the handrails and then we've got some metal uh handrails picked out in white on the inner side as well and then we do have the the actual uh wheels for the doors uh fortunately these don't turn but they are very they're actually pretty sturdy for what they are so these we, these three wheels would operate the three chutes that are in the bottom so dogfish used to be made 
for dropping ballast. And what it would do when it's going along the track, it would dump ballast along the side of the track and down the middle. So obviously you got your right hand shoot, left hand shoot and your middle shoot for in the middle of the track. And these are quite fun to use. Um, and then you would have a brake van uh, called a shark at the back or the front. And they have plows that you can lower the height and adjust. And uh, then that pushes the ballast into place. So these things were pretty cool to use. And as you guys can see, all of those white wires uh, for the hat, uh, for the door wheels there um, all go all the way down to where they're actually meant to be. And... Uh, this is a very very cool model and i'm really shocked about the weight of it as well if we have a look on the inside then you've got some rivet work you got the center bar that's to stop the um the ballast like clogging all up in there with the doors and uh it looks pretty accurate to me uh from being able to work with about 12 of these i think it's 11 the dean forest railway's got um so it's very very nice to see so for someone that's worked with these model uh with the dogfish um to me this is a very very accurate model um and uh yeah so i really cannot fault this model right now it is really really impressing me with the way the detail and uh, yeah, it's just bringing back some old memories when I was uh, painting these up. So we'll give it a quick roll test. So there's a little bit of resistance, but I don't know if that's just because the wagon is very, very heavy. Um, so I think the next thing we can do is we'll get it on the scales. So if I place the scales down, let it do its thing. And uh, we'll see how heavy these things are. Okay, so it is weighing at oh, 202 grams. So this is rather heavy for a open wagon. And it just goes to show what you can really do in O-Gage with weight. So the entirety of this entire section here is one gigantic metal weight. And that's where the wagon gets its weight from. So, now we've uh, had a nice close look at the wagon. Let's uh, take it onto the demonstrations layout and uh, see how it performs over points, see how its couplings hold up and uh, just have a little running session. So I'll see you on the layout. Okay, so here we are over at the layout and uh, we'll give it a quick little roll test while it's full. And as you can see, it doesn't roll that much, but if you think the wagon alone is about 200 grams, you've probably just added another 100, 200 grams to it now. So the weight is going to give it some friction there. So let's bring in our trusty pannier tank 9681 and we'll test the coupling now. So this is uh, a different style coupling than what we've seen on the wagon so far. All we've seen are the three links. I'm just bringing in the pannier here. So, I haven't adjusted the screw link on this one, so we'll see what it's like. So the first challenge is the vac pipes are quite close to the hooks, so it is quite a pain to try and get in there. But I've managed to hook it and it is now coupled. So we'll give it a little pull test. Let's see how the coupling holds out. 
get it to uh, stretch a little bit here. And that seems perfectly good to me. Buffers seem to be riding at the same height as the pannier, so that's always good. And uh, it is nice and smooth as well. So let's get it. Uh, let's get this dogfish coupled to the other two that I've got parked up ready. And uh, I'll get some running shots for you guys.
And there we have it, the review on the Halgen O-Gage Dogfish Wagon. And I have really enjoyed making this one. It's one of my favourite type of wagons. Um, it's nice for me because obviously I've worked on them. And overall, it's just a very highly detailed model. There is really not much I can say about uh, negative about this model it works absolutely flawlessly the details to the sprung buffers to the moving handbrake that was a uh, a shock that i didn't uh i didn't know would be a thing but it is um and just down to all the little pipe work handrails this wagon is really worth the money. Yes, it's expensive. Yes, it's around the £100 mark. But in my opinion, it is absolutely worth the money. I hope you guys have enjoyed that little running session and the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, subscribing is free, um, all the subscription button does is it puts, um, all this, all the YouTubers you like to watch into your subscription, uh, part. So all your people that you enjoy watching are all together. And also if you hit the notification bell, you will be alerted to when I upload so it means you guys don't miss a video. Um, if you've got any questions about the Halogen Dogfish Wagon, please drop your questions in the comment section below. Um, if you've got one of uh, if you've got one of these wagons, please let me know your opinions on it in the description below, uh, in the comments below as well, and. I just can't thank you guys enough for uh keep for keep watching my videos. Um the model was purchased by uh from Derails Models. Um so a massive thank you to them. Um I have as you guys saw in the running clips, I do have three dogfish already. And I do have two more on order with derails. So a massive thank you to them. Uh, a massive thank you to my best mate, Goswitch Junction, for making this lovely plaque for my O-Gage models to sit on. So a massive thank you to him. Please go check him out. He also does YouTube. His channel is Glosswitch Junction. Uh, so please go check him out. He does some amazing content and some of this scenery that that man is capable of, as you guys can see from this little diorama, is incredible. So a massive shout out to him as well and please go check him out. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.